so Mario Kart uh, Tour has been out for a few days now and was it what you expected uh, but there's no real multiplayer um, you have what looks like a multiplayer uh, loading screen uh, online but that's just something made up maybe they're planning to put uh, online multiplayer multiplayer play later on uh, this is not a game I feel like I would want to invest a lot of money. I would spend a lot of time playing it, but I don't think I'd spend a lot of money playing it. Controls are, are very simple. You can purchase uh, these warp pipes, which expel some kind of item out of it. A cart character, um, accessory for the cart. Um... But using rubies, I think it is, and you can purchase rubies. Let's go to add. So you got different uh, price for different amounts. And let's see, coins. Can you buy coins? In Coin Rush, you pay. Oh, you play as Gold Mario and race on a course jam packed with coins it's a good chance to stock up so you can use the rubies to buy coins so that's eating up more money alright and then what's this and you can play your level oh, okay that's no big deal alright here's a shop you can take and buy certain things with your coins or you can buy characters cars alright you can look at what you already own I've unlocked one car one extra character your news And let me show you what I was talking about. A view loading screen. Okay. So you, you see the screen where it shows my character and then it shows other characters loading up. It makes you look it makes you think that these are real players that you're playing online with. And and that's that's just bogus that's just i don't know maybe that's intended to future they will release uh an online mode maybe the, then it might be worth something that people would like spend more money into to get different cars or uh, other accessories and characters now if, if you look there you if you hold uh, the screen right at two, you get a boost. But don't hold it before two or too too soon, or uh, we'll uh, do a spin out. Which I, I've never done a spin out. I don't know. Uh, to use your equipment, you tap the screen. If you have an item like the banana, you need to throw it forward. You swipe up. If you have a shell and you want it to aim backwards you need to swipe down and holding your your finger on the stick on the stick excuse me, on the screen and sliding it left and right doesn't mean that you are turning left and right you actually have to lift your finger off the screen to uh, and swipe to turn because if you don't you're actually going to your drift so the drifting is pretty cool on here I think uh, you can slide your finger on it and hold your finger on the screen and slide back and forth to hang in the turns. Yeah, shows you right there. 
screen. It's got some tutorials to it. And I didn't even mean to uh, hit that. Alright, I'm going to show you how to throw this banana in front of you. Just swipe up. Boom. If you just touch it, if you tap it, it just drops it. And tapping the screen without anything makes you do a jump. So... I'm not too sure about the boost. Like, if you get a boost from uh, tapping it when you go over. Well, I just tapped it then. <laughs> but that might have been a mushroom. I wasn't even paying attention to my items. Alright, let's see if it does it here. It may do it automatically, so... I'm going to drop that banana. So, yeah. Now, I don't think it's a game worth putting money into. And even even if they do multiplayer, I still don't see it as that. I mean, what is it? Two hundred CC if you pay five dollars a month for it. I don't see. I don't see that uh, as so much that you need something like that. I mean, five dollars. That's something you could put on. Uh, You know, Apple uh, game, the game room they got out, uh, the the PlayStation Now, and um, Game Pass from Xbox. You'd be better off to take that five dollars and spend it like that. And my argument is, you know, if you got PlayStation, I mean, if you got Nintendo online, why would you need to pay five dollars extra? You pay play Nintendo online for. 20 bucks a year and this is asking just this one game is asking for five dollars just to play uh, a different uh, sp speed of race and technically it's a uh, more challenge too but I just say I don't see people putting that money into that I sure wouldn't and if I have uh, Nintendo online you should just give that to me free you know, somebody argued with me and said, well, that's not a phone thing. That's not going through the phone company. Well, if you give a game free on uh, through the App Store, Google Play, uh, they're not making money on that. So I'm just saying you just give something free. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm saying. You know, it's, it's just... You know, I feel like a lot of people have waste money and, and stuff like some games, but I'm like, and I just don't see, I see that would be a big waste. I just don't see no reason why. I mean, I feel like Nintendo could have made this and gave it free altogether, but at the same time, they're not making anything. It's just, all I could say is, hey, if you like, if I was to make this and put it on a, tablet or a phone or whatever I'd be like if you like this uh, check out you know Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch uh, I mean you gotta give away some stuff to get you know some advertisement get some publicity that's that's my two cents